G'day guys, my name is Dave Tran and welcome to a Throwback Thursday edition of a Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play The Scientist by Coldplay. Now the way that Chris Martin plays it live has alternate tuning and also some fairly stretchy chords. So I'm not going to teach you that in this lesson, I'm going to teach you the easiest possible way to pick this up and it still sounds absolutely amazing. So for the basics, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you'll need the capo on the fifth fret of your guitar. For this song, you'll need to know five chord shapes. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. The five chord shapes are A minor seven, then we have F, then we have C, we have C sus two, and to play a C sus two, all you'll do is you'll lift your middle finger up off the C chord and strum all the same strings, and that's C sus two. And then we finally have G. Let's start with the strumming pattern, and this strumming pattern will be played throughout the whole song. The strumming pattern is really simple, and it's just down, 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 up. And in succession, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Now up in the annotations, wherever I put a chord, you're going to be playing that chord for two strumming patterns. So down, 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 up, down, 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 up. All right, so let's start with the intro and the verse chord progression. And it's a really easy and simple four chord chord progression. That goes A minor, F, C, and then C sus two. So you just lift your middle finger up off that C chord. As I mentioned before, each chord is gonna be played for two strumming patterns. So in total, the intro slash verse will sound like this. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 And that's it for the intro and verse chord progression. Really, really nice and easy. So this is a great song for beginners. Now we get to the chorus and the chorus is really, really simple. We have two lines of chords here. The first line is F, F again. So that means you're playing the F for essentially four strumming patterns because remember each chord is played for two strumming patterns. And then we have C and then we have C sus two. And you're gonna play that first line twice. And then for our second line, it's simply G for two strumming patterns. And then the next G is just gonna be a G strummed by itself, no strumming pattern there. So the chorus will just sound like this. And that's it for the chorus. Now there's a break after the first chorus and the break is really simple. There's just two lines of chords. The first line is C, then F, then C, and C again. Then for the second line of chords, it's A minor seven, F, C, and then C sus two. So basically our verse chords. So the break altogether will sound like this. Then you go into another verse and another chorus and we've already learnt them, so that's nice and easy. And finally, the last thing we need to learn is the outro of the song. Now the outro of the song is really easy. We have three lines of chords. 
The first line is C, then F, then C, and C again. So similar to the break. And then we go to A minor seven, F, then C, and C again. And we're gonna play that second line of chords four times. And then our last line of chords is simply A minor seven, F, and then C. Now you can just strum those last three chords once each, or you can play the strumming pattern if you like, it's up to you. So that last line of chords can sound like this. One, end the song like that. So that's it for The Scientist by Coldplay. It's such an easy song but it sounds amazing so it's a really great one for beginners and to sing along to. So now I'm going to be playing the song in its entirety. I'm going to have a vocal track on top for some context. So feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to practice play along to and see how you go.
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this Throwback Thursday. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. If you've enjoyed this, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests below, and I'll see you next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers. So see